Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Triforce Podcast. Welcome uh, back. Welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It was pouring with rain, so oh I, t- I got outside. I was yeah. going to go into the office to record this, but I decided I just turn straight back around, and I'm in my lounge with a cup of tea instead. Pyrian, uh, welcome. Good morning. Hold on. Hold on. How, have you walked oh, the dog he's this morning? No, he's gone. On. He's doorbell. I had to change my vape batteries. Crack on. Oh. <laughs> carry on. Carry on with you with your, with your little podcast. Go on. <laughs> Why do I have to do this? Why do <laughs> I have to suffer You're through the this maestro. Really yeah, yeah, you have to do it. You're Lewis I don't like Beyonce. this bit. I, I, you guys always like you. You, you get all smug and like, <laughs> like look at this idiot doing a stupid intro. Yeah. I think it's because we know it makes you uncomfortable. So it's, yeah, it's, that is, it's amusing. We like to us. We like to see you squirming. So um, yeah. So we we've put out a couple of these uh, special best of podcasts, and um, people seem to be very polarized about it. It's back to the mundane day to day stuff. Sips, how are you doing? What are you up to? What are you oh, been doing? You know, I'm I'm doing good. My uh the, the plumbers are around again fixing the the central heating. This is uh, mm. phase two of fixing the central heating ahead of uh, another cold snap that's coming up. Mm-hmm. So uh we got we got two we got two radiators with uh blockages. They got the thermal gun out. Uh you can see where the radiator is hot all the way around, except for uh panels two, three, and and four, I believe, <laughs> uh, are out. So you can see there. <laughs> There is definitely cold spot in there, right. and uh, it uh, it requires uh, the radiator to be uh, disconnected from the system. It's got to then be taken out into the backyard and had a, have a hose fed through it to push out all the gunk that uh, accumulates inside a radiator. And then uh, once it's all cleared out, they uh, put it back on the wall, give it a uh, power wash, put some solution in there, and then uh, hook it back up to the system. And then uh, the, the heat is uh, cranking once again. So, um, yeah. Quite water, the uh, water warmed. Quite the quite the ordeal. We had a, an electric boiler fitted, which I'm happy with. But there's been some issues with the uh, change in pressure to the uh, to the system from the Goodness. old boiler, right. and right. Uh, that has caused a couple of blockages in the central. I was heating. drawn to the phrase thermal gun. Um, yeah, thermal it, gun. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got a. It's so. It's a. It's not. It doesn't it look like a, like a pistol. Like a, oh, it's not like a dirty, hairy magnum or anything mm. like that. It's uh, it looks more like uh, something out of Ghostbusters, like a tricorder maybe, but it's got a big screen on it. They didn't have tricorders <laughs> in Ghostbusters. Wow. Uh, sorry. Tri- what? So what was the the thing in uh, the in... proton pack they had in Ghostbusters? No, no. no, the no. Tricorder I'm talking about the little, the the little uh, the thing the they use for Scientology to get the if if you have the amiibos the or whatever, e-meter yeah. i believe it's called e-meter oh, whatever whatever that thing is the thing that they used to scan PKE. for ghosts it's called the pke, PKE meter. meter that's the ghostbusters that's the one. was the pke meter i think All right. yeah. so yeah. imagine yeah. It's imagine the, it's a pke e-meter. meter but it right. doesn't have the little flaps coming out of it what well, the little uh, arms that go up and down yes, when he scans people. it doesn't have that on it but it's got a little screen on it and uh it uh, it'll show hot spots in like red yellow and orange and then cold spots in blue and uh you can see it's like red all around the radiator yeah. but then right in the middle there's like a, a blue spot and what's happening is it's not cranking out the heat mm. you know as all much right. as we'd like it and with it being cold and stuff and we got a baby and I mean, uh, we understood the dingoes and everything like oh man it's just it's no good so they have to <laughs> yeah. fix it yeah good psychokinetic job. energy meter yes yeah, okay. yeah. that's what it stands when for. he scans vince clortho with it the key yes. master it goes I think That's right. It goes off the charts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vince, at least it scans the painting, right? Oh. Would you like some coffee, Vince? Yes, have some. Yes, yeah. Your Honor. This man has, has no, no dick. Penis. Oh, no dick. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I'm thinking of. We're thinking Where of does he scan? He scans, uh, he scans. He scans a whole bunch of things with it. He scans. Uh, he scans. Um, what's his face? Rick Moranis. <laughs> yeah, that's the, Vince uh, Clotho. That's yeah. He, when he, he's scanning him, though, if you look at the computer screen, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a it's a demon. It's the dog thing, isn't it's it? The that's dog when he's demon. got the uh, the, the gozer, oh, the gozer yes. hound. Yeah, the many shoves and zoos knew what it was to be roasted in the depths of the floor that day. I could tell you. <laughs> man, his his character is so good. Rick Moranis yeah. was 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 great, man. He's such a good guy. No, yeah. Well, He's he's uh he's still yeah. going, isn't he? I think he's yeah, come he, back. I think, isn't he? I think he's, he, he took he, a break. He but... took a break, but uh, yeah, he, we was, about this he was much loved. Oh, hang on a second, my door now. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Sorry, tables. I'll be right back. The tables they have turned. No one rings, no one rings my doorbell. P flex. Well, um, I'll be down there. 
before the end of the month. I and, need uh, someone to ring my I doorbell. I can come around and, and ring ring your little bell for you if you need me to. No problem. Okay. When are you coming down? Uh, later weeks. in the month, we're doing the the uh, some more bolt action in it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, we're thinking about. I don't know if we want to talk about the um the scenario, but I don't. I don't think we're going to do another sort of. I don't want to say comedy, but it was it was essentially a comedy. Uh, it obviously had Dad's Army in it, so it wasn't it wasn't like a, a proper game of bolt action, if you like. And obviously, I'm thinking for the next one, maybe we do a historical, a famous historical mission from World War II. Mm. I had one in mind that I pitched to Ben. Um, okay, so we'll see. But uh, you know, it'll be it'll be interesting. I mean, the key element of it is. That we get to push those little men around and and roll dice, which is which is something I don't get to do very often. Yeah, I, I I loved it. Um, I, I tell you what, I'll tell you. Well, I'll tell you when Sips comes back. Um, because it'll because it's it's, it's relevant. But, How have um, you been post JJ? Have you taken a needed break and uh, relaxed and and just done uh, nothing, or are you straight back into it? I don't know. I'm I'm okay. Uh. <laughs> it's it's I, I did take a little break i told you last week i went on holiday with spiff and yes, um, yes. rt and everything which was very very fun um we had just a very chill week so yeah i was able to have a little bit of a reset which i think people need from time to time i think this is why holidays are good for people because it's mm. kind of like a little it snaps you out of your routine it, and it makes you realize what you're not enjoying Taking you some time you to come to this of. this conclusion that I think I don't think you're going to find any arguments against that conclusion. No, but, but I think we, sometimes we, people need a break. I think <laughs> Smith asked me like, "What was the most fun video you made in last year?" Oh yeah, and I was what like, was? Well, probably the bolt action video. Oh really? I just, yeah, I really enjoyed doing that with you. I thought that was really fun. It was fun. It was a lot I of fun. It was, it hey, was, did I miss I liked... anything? Sorry, I'm back. Um, no, no, no. Oh man. Well, I've just uh, been so... informed that they found lumps in one of the radiators. Uh, oh. They took it off the wall, and uh, they couldn't believe how heavy it was on one side. And they said there was lumps coming out. That might be. A, uh, is it? Check. It's not ectoplasm. You know what I said? Um... I said, "Well, there's your problem." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be helpful. You know, I like to fit in. Um, so yeah, no, they're just uh, they're gonna Dogs. put a valve on. Uh, I, I don't know Fucking if you guys are interested in uh, in, in radiators, uh, but uh, the old uh, well, so well, now the old, we are. The old oil boiler, uh, let me tell you one thing. You, you had an oil boiler. It, yeah, an old one, wow. yeah. Well, it wasn't uh, that old, actually, because we had it Boiled replaced. Boiled oil. Weird. Yeah, you got to boil up the oil. Um, it was an oil, <laughs> oil-fired uh, boiler that we used to have. And uh, once those things get going, they, they go. They, they go like the clappers. Like, uh, there's no stopping them unless you actually turn them off, right? Mm. Um, the old oil boiler. So, um, that's, no, that's no name to call your, your long-suffering wife. Yeah. Oi, oi. <laughs> so we had, uh, we had the it's oil boiler, but it was hooked into, like, a whole bunch of, like, older components and stuff. And basically, it, uh, it wasn't too efficient because um, when it would heat up, it needed somewhere for all the excess heat to go. So there was one radiator in the system that didn't have a valve and would just be, like like a thousand degrees and it was at the bottom of our stairs so no matter how hot the other radiators were this one radiator would just get all of the excess heat dumped into it so it was uh it was like piping hot so they're going to put a valve on that one now mm. because we've got the, the electric boiler which can uh curb itself somewhat we could put a valve on that one now and now we're not going to have a molten lava heater with the, all the other ones did i tell you about my washing lukewarm. machine so i i got a, i got my washing machine was always Always funky, right? Ever right. ever since I, I, lime scale? I moved in to this place, right? It's probably lime and, scale, right? You got hard <laughs> water in your area? And well, uh, basically like it was always I was always do like a like a like an eco forty wash, right? And occasionally Aww. I do like a sixty cotton wash or whatever, right? Yeah, you gotta do it. Like what do you do your towels stuff, right? on out of interest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mostly you... like all of all of the clothes would be forty eco and then the rest would be like just a cotton wash, right? D did you say cum wash? And uh, yeah, a, a what wash? I thought you said cum wash. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, that's, I guess that, that's not what I said, but I guess that's, that's what it actually would be. Uh, 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 and, and so I, I, but I noticed that the washing was always quite hot. Right, and right. it's a combo washing machine tumble dryer, which they don't recommend, by the way. And I no, don't they're they're not they're not that great. They're, they're okay if you thought... live in a flat or whatever, and you have to have one, it's fine. But uh, you should try to get a, a separate dryer. Is just insane. They're they're crazy. It would, the, what, it would always come out like the washing would always come out like quite hot, like like as in like 
but but kind of like like too hot almost to touch right and right. it's like oh, this isn't right anyway like when they give you those to... uh when they give you those moist towelettes on the airplane and they're steaming hot like they put them in those airplane microwaves yes. before they give them to you oh my god they're the like demon. that yes possessed by the, if you ran e meter over them poor oh my it god would be, it would be it would be off the charts yeah um, so i I, I just sort of, it didn't seem to damage any of my stuff or like, like cause any problems. Everything smelled fine and everything. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't really a problem. It was just a bit hot. Sure. Um, and so when I got the, eventually like it's the, the washing machine started packing up and, mm -hmm. um, and I thought of various things, but I was like, I think it's just old. So I, I got a replacement and the first wash I did was like a cold wash. Um, but then it came out hot and I was like, the fuck is going on? And I was like, I bet you. The fucking taps are the wrong way around. The wrong way around. Yeah. But I couldn't. But I couldn't. I didn't have any evidence for this, right? Because right. I'm not a plumber. I didn't want to start doing this anyway. I, I told the guy, and he was like, he was like, it sounds bullshit. But I'll come around and check. He came around and check, and, he, and it was. It was literally that. It was that the hot and the cold tap had been mislabeled on the wall. And did you and, uh, cross your arms? And go well. There's your problem. And I was like. I when, felt uh, like when he figured ben, it out, Benoit Blanc out of Glass Onion. Yeah, I right. was like, ah, yeah, just the the. The case has been solved. Um, I haven't seen that one yet. Don't. It was glass. Everyone's talking about glass onion. It's not great. Well, it's fun. It's a romp. It's right. it's fine. It's got not Daniel Craig in it, right? Yeah. yeah. Does he wear his little uh, cacks like he does in James Bond? His little bathing suit. He dresses suit? like a, a fucking Ken doll okay. in that movie. I mean, yeah. I, he's, he does make it for a good Ken There's doll. There's one right? scene where Looks he like, he like could turns be like up Ken's in this dad weird or something. Right? Thing with a neckerchief. Like he right. wears a fucking neckerchief. Do you know what I mean? My, so can I just quickly say my issue with Glass Onion is um, it's fucking boring. The script yeah. is <laughs> is the script is non-existent. I swear I, to God, I, it's I, I it's like the first draft. It. The I, guy just, just boshed out shit. the script over a weekend, and they were like, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah. We don't They're really working care. with that. We got we got uh, we got DC, so it doesn't matter. Just any old thing. We're gonna put him in his little James Bond underpants, and uh, that's that's a wrap. Yeah, I think but there's so many aliens. actors in it. So many. They got actors. Dave Batista. They got Edward Norton. Um, Edward Norton. He's yeah. still going. Edward Norton's yeah. In it. Did you know Edward Norton is the twelfth great grandson of Pocahontas? Wow, oh, I thought you were going to uh, say uh, P uh, Peter Norton, Norton, Symantec, Norton uh, Pocahontas antivirus. was real? Yeah, of course. I thought she was just a, a, a character. Disney character. No, she was oh, real. Oh, wow, she was real. So, I mean, I don't know how... I, I mean, that's obviously interesting, but when you go that far down, 12... So that means saying the word great 12 times, I mean, not like the 12th yeah. one. No, I got you. Um, that, is, that is a lot of people above you, right? You've got... 12. Well, it, like, it's like two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. It's like, there must be like a couple of thousand or maybe like 16,000. I don't know how many. What's two to the power 12? Mm. Um, um, I think you'll find that it's uh, 4,332.333. 4, 4,000. So oh. Edward Norton has technically got 4,000 12th great grandmas. All One right. of them is Pocahontas. So I suppose that's not, it's not that rare. 4,096. But, yeah, I was close actually. Holy crap! Um, yeah. It was just a just a wild guess as well because uh, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't how to know figure if that it out really. Either. I don't know if it works that way. What do you mean? I think I that's mean, too many grandmothers. I I think uh, at that point uh, there's no possible way that he's at all related, right? It's it there's, the spread is too much. If you've ever played Crusader Kings, um, the uh, the video <laughs> game series, and you see the those family dynasties, I've never seen a spread of four thousand. Like I, I, I don't no, it's think actually it probably it's probably less than that because. Some of them are probably doubled up, right? You want well, to tall, I, I, probably a little bit of incest. Your, your I, I, don't, I don't know what, why why you're doubling the number of people involved every time. What why did why what are you, you doing that? Well, you're well, you you're, got... you're ending up with a number four thousand and ninety six by doing two to the power twelve. But it's not yeah. like it took four thousand and ninety six people to make his direct descendant. It took two people. So you just you just have to go up the tree. And eventually, it, like it, twelve times removed, you'd, you'd go up the tree and find his direct relatives who had a child, who then married someone, and then they had a child, and then they married someone, and then they had a child, all the way down. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just twenty-four people. Yeah. Am I crazy here? Probably. No, no, no. You're not. No, you are. You are crazy. Yeah. I'm blacking. I don't, out I don't, I don't think off. I am. 
<laughs> I'm just saying, I, I could draw a list of the direct descendants from Pocahontas to Edward Norton, and it wouldn't be 4,096 people. If you're chucking in every other person, even remotely related to them all the way up, like all no, but, of them, no, but no, you no, can okay. go Pocahontas, Edward Norton, and it wouldn't be 4,096 f- people. No, but like, imagine, no, but your parents have two parents each, right? Yeah. So you've got four grandparents, eight great grandparents. 16 great great grandparents, 32 great 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 grandparents. Yeah, but you don't need all them. No, but I'm saying that you're, they you, all matter. Uh, everybody, like, everyone along the line you, has had to contribute fluids to this. Look, so whenever they count. someone says they're descended from someone from 500 fucking years ago, right. a lot of people are descended from that person. They're not unique. It's not like I'm the heir of Pocahontas. Right. Oh, right? You could just I could draw probably a find that I'm line. descended from a lot of historical well, figures if I went fucking far back enough. That's interesting and everything, but ultimately we're all descendants of Adam and Eve, and let's move on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, can can I, can I say that uh, as interesting as this is and stuff, and that uh, I, I like, I love the review of Glass Onion. Oh, the argument. Sorry, um, yeah. I, I've been watching a show that I've been enjoying recently called uh, Inside Number Nine. Maybe you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I love the yeah. format. I love the yeah, short great. story yeah, format. It's, it's really, really cleverly it's really written. Compelling. It's Some of the episodes really fun are to like watch. so good. Yeah. Some of them are a little bit of a, a duffer, and you kind of think that was all right. It's still, it's still okay. I love, but uh, some of them are really fucking. I, good. Yeah, I love how, um, like, like you were saying with Glass Onion, I like how there's just familiar faces in all the episodes as well, right? Like they just seem mm. to get. Yeah, but it's well written. It is very well written. Yeah, yeah it's good. I'm, Whereas uh, that, that's the thing is Glass Onion and 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 the other one, whatever it was called, are, are not. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing to the characters. They're yeah. just cookie cutter boring terrible lines no dialogue that's memorable yeah inside number nine i thought it was really, really i knew good. nothing about it show. i didn't uh, really? I, I knew absolutely nothing about it and uh my mother-in-law says it's told me like months ago that she watches it i was like oh yeah whatever like i just kind of ignored her <laughs> and then uh the baby was was up and i was uh i was just i had the baby laying uh, on our bed half right. asleep and I was just really bored waiting for her to fall asleep. Yeah. So I, I grabbed my iPad and uh, I finished off a uh, Vampire Survivors uh, achievement run. Mm-hmm. And I was uh, <laughs> at a loss. I didn't really know what to do after that. So I, 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 so I fired up the iPlayer and I was like, I wonder what's on TV. You know, like the World Cup's done. So you don't really have a go-to anymore. And, uh, and inside number nine came, I was like, what the fuck is that? I thought it was like political or something. I thought it was to do with politics or something. Uh, and, I, and I remember my mother-in-law saying that she watches it. And I was like, fuck it. I'll just give this a go. Like, I'm so bored. I will watch anything. Mm-hmm. Put it on. I loved it. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's I'm, great. I'm, I'm almost done season one now. Like, uh, it's oh, great. Oh, man. You got yeah. eight series. I know. Eight. Yeah. I'm yeah, uh, looking great. forward to it. It's really nice. There are some they, absolute they, they, storming episodes. Yeah. Really There's some good, good episodes. There's some terrible ones, too. But sure. I mean, that's what you're going to get when you have, like, this forced creativity, right? The I idea guess, is yeah. that it all takes place inside a room called the number nine or, no, that's house not true. or whatever and that that might be in like a space station or a fucking train carriage the number nine just appears yeah i mean in one of the episodes well originally that was the original idea yeah, well yeah, the yeah. guy the one i saw room. yesterday was the one with the actors the macbeth uh company and right. uh and with the uh with the assistant and um and the original actor who then becomes disabled and the other actor takes over and that yeah, takes yeah. place in dressing room number yeah, nine yeah. Yeah, like they they just work the number nine in there somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of a gimmick, but it's not like the episode revolves. No, no, no. around it. No, um, no, it's supposed really. to be an enclosed kind of slightly off offbeat. Well, obviously, it's it's from the the guys who made League yeah, of Gentlemen. Yeah, it back goes in the day. it goes dark sometimes, like They've League got, of Gentlemen did. They're definitely willing to to be to be very dark. Yeah, which like, is, I think which for me, good. the the best thing is that the way they in they only it's only a half an hour show. Yeah, you very quickly. They're very good at just a few lines or a few points, and you know the character. Yes. Yeah, because they're, sort of they're, like, they're, okay, they're simple guy. characters that don't need much, you know, fleshing out, right? Like, yeah. you, you, you can pick they're up with them like immediately. They're usually, like, kind of the, the cunty characters, though, often. There are like, quite like, a lot of Like a dog, characters. dog kickers. Or <laughs> yeah, like they're, 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 well, like <laughs> chancers and, uh, and, like, people who, you know, will take advantage of a, a bad situation and stuff, right? Uh, uh, like, even just in series one, most of the episodes have revolved around somebody trying to capitalize on somebody's death or... Yeah. Or planning to actually kill somebody. Do you or know whatever. what it, it kind of reminds me of? Um, uh, what was that old show? Um, oh God, Tales Un- of the Unexpected. 
Goosebumps. Right, like yes, really yes. old show. Um, Goosebumps is a bit like that too, right? That is but like it's a bit more paranormal or whatever. What is? Goosebumps. I've it's never a, heard of it. Goosebumps is a similar format. It's, it's like a kids. A, it's, it's a kids, kids book. It's a kids, oh. kids, kids book and show. Book. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like it's not. Uh, it's like it's little short stories every time. There's no overarching like I see. characters or or storyline or like, universe. It, it or anything harkens like that. back to the older idea of like episodic tv and you know like like that's just not a, such a thing now everything has to be this which is good in a sense this this long running it's basically got, yeah a, they try to fully flesh out a massive ip now all the time right like mm. it has to have backstory lore scope for uh prequels and all that kind of stuff where this format doesn't need any of that, right? Because it's all there's a few there's a few bits like Love, Death of Robots and uh, Tales from the Loop is actually one which is quite good. Yeah, Tales um, from the Loop is meant to be just sort of like a short story, weird kind of um, Black Mirror, of course. Yeah, Black sure. Mirror is yeah. is yeah. yeah. Inside Number Nine is compared to Black Mirror a lot. I, I don't. Th I think that I, I would say Black Mirror is more like um, Twilight Zone than anything else. Yeah, really. Black Mirror. That's the classic. Yeah, one. because Black yeah, Mirror has more definitely more, uh, more of that stuff. Has more fantastical stuff in it, right? Yeah. Like it'll be like uh, if you don't get a certain amount of likes on uh, social media in a day, you can't buy a coffee. You, you or whatever, can't buy yeah. something, or yeah, or whatever. Whereas, uh, it, whereas yeah, Inside Number Nine is more based around stuff that could actually happen interactions or, yeah yeah it's not so sci-fi yeah it's right, good yeah. so no i i i'm a big fan so one of the things that i was just saying to pflex where you were talking to the radiator man was we played a game of bolt action oh yeah but i've but one of my things i really wanted to do this year was play a game of twilight imperium right okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna play it when we're down baby you play are you it, crazy you? yeah do no, you send us a whatsapp of an eight hour game that you guys and i was like i'm in everybody I'm in. that i i could smell that room from the picture oh. you know when you look at a picture and you can smell it wasn't it? too bad it wasn't too bad we were we were all very we you guys were all looked very modern so men. sweaty no. we, everybody <laughs> looked all flushed and sweaty in that picture oh. <laughs> it we're, all, we're all hygienic nice smelling people i know I but uh, you're sitting in a you're sitting in a cramped room um playing a board game for eight hours there's going to be a couple of uh whiffs in especially there for sure. since it's quite like intense right like yes it's, it's it the board game itself twilight imperium sounds and always has been daunting right like the idea is like oh god i have to learn all these complicated it takes ages it must be hard but actually it's a piece of piss to right. learn uh it just takes a long time to process all the turns and then you get into these like trade deals and arguments with players so it's a bit like playing i want to say a game of multiplayer stellaris, stellaris or something yeah. like this right where you start off you cut on the first for the first couple of hours you can't really fuck over another player too somebody say stellaris what uh, <laughs> what dlc are we talking about here can uh, give, give me a list of the dlc so that i can actually uh, get in on the conversation please I've, I've... it's so so there's one big dlc prophecy of kings which adds a lot there uh, is actual great. dlc sorry uh, i was just joking a big, i didn't it's realize basically, that it's a huge this is a uh, i mean a twilight imperium <laughs> is this granddaddy of of mega pieces about as it's about as exaggerated as you could possibly imagine i'm playing it when i come down i've already been invited to do so i think All by right. you um well you're gonna have to learn that do the tutorial which well you said it wasn't difficult you just said yeah that. but even even you oh, but we're you not gonna think teach you i'm too day. stupid to play it because the of that is, if we one teach time, you on the day it will take even longer it took eight hours because we were rushing and we all knew exactly because what to of do. that one time that i didn't like that cthulhu board game you 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 don't want to play board games with me anymore. Yeah. I'm fine. You're playing blacklisted. Board games with you. You're on the shit list now. He'll never <laughs> forget have to, that you're infraction. You have to watch a video beforehand. I'll right? watch a fucking video on it. I'll do it. You don't I'll take do board right. games seriously enough, Flax. That's why nobody wants to play board game with you. Okay. That's not the case. I take them very seriously. I just didn't realize it was, was going to take 17 hours. I was just and kidding. it wasn't even a very good game. No offense. It's that a... that game took f a fraction of the time Twilight Period. But will some take. turns. Some turns in that that Cthulhu game, Seas of Seas of Cthulhu's balls or whatever it was called. Some some turns, it's like, well, I will turn uh, ninety degrees, and then uh, that is my turn completed. And now yeah, it's like yeah. half an hour until you get to do anything again, and you've got that for like seven hours. But that's uh, where that's where like uh, you know like uh, extracurricular activities come in handy, right? If you if you vape or you smoke or if you like to drink or whatever, you got all that time to do that stuff, right? In between turns, I that's that has to be the 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 plus side of a board game. It runs real. It runs real 
quickly you run out of impetus if, if you're in the thick so twilight imperium it, anyway it's yeah. it's basically a, a hex grid where there's there's a planet in the middle and you all start on the edges and you, you colonize your way to the middle and then you know you you fight over this middle planet that's the idea but but because there's a lot of um these interesting like mechanics you often on other people's turn are able to do things did um, you guys order so like, pizza oh, everyone gets a free ship we ordered um um from the a korean place we right. got bib and bap and chips nice yeah, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, <we cracked. laughs> and chips yeah. Well, I don't even well, care. I like I like playing board back. games for all the stuff that happens around playing. Like the games themselves, I can take them or leave them. But like, if you're ordering food and like we can, you know, smoke some shangri las or whatever, like I'm I'm down. You know, like I, I just yeah, like the hanging out because you could it. chat away. It was very chill. We were we were we enjoyed it. I think everyone enjoyed it, and um, it was it was good. It was a good social it's experience. It's lovely. Yeah. We social. got we yeah. were very into the game as well. So there's there's a couple of races that are more tradey. And a couple of races that are more killy. Like the Ferengi? Um, the Romulans. Yeah. <laughs> How much for the woman? I'll give you three tons of latinum for her. <laughs> That's, that is, it is very much that. Yeah, actually. I love that. I love the way that not only do they love money, they love ladies. They're like the, <laughs> the Ferengi. The yeah. two best goddamn things in <laughs> right. life. Am I right, guys? But yeah. look at the Ferengi. They have everything they need as a race in Star Trek to be like the playboys of space. But then they look and sound like the Ferengi. <laughs> so like, like they're trying to buy their way to into into the. They're, they're the, blessed the and cursed at the same time. It's a balance. They're little they're little space goblins, aren't they? Really? Yeah. yeah. They're the time is money friends of the Star Trek uh, universe, right? If you have time to lean, Picard, you have time to clean. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff. Oh, I will God. not do any cleaning for you, Ferengi. Get your latinum and get out of here. <laughs> what I want to know is, everybody else has done away with money. But the Ferengi are still clinging on, but they're trading in latinum, which is obviously like Cling, clinging some fancy on. platinum. <laughs> clinging on. Oh. oh, man. Star Trek. No eh? jokes Never about mind. clinging on. <laughs> Sorry, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> like, how, how are they, how do you exist as trading with other species and all the rest of it across the Empire and between the Federation and all these other different if there's no money, you know, there's no trade money. goods left though. Like uh, they, do, you can't even if food just gets materialized out of nowhere right. in Star Trek. But so there must no... be stuff that you can't um, just say, oh, oh, tea, oh, great tea, hot. Like you know, it'll the computer will go. I can't make that. Yeah, there'll be something it can't make. That's what you have to trade. What for. about bespoke right. hollow deck experiences uh, right. <laughs> by <Yeah>. Jordy LaForge? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, without money. If it's all bar to trade, if that's the entire system in Star Trek, because obviously the, the Federation doesn't have money, what are they trading in? How do you trade stuff in such a way where you say, we'll give you money for that? You have to trade goods. Yeah, I'll give you five goods. tons of latinum in exchange for uh, a real sexy time with uh, Counselor Deanna Troy in the hollow deck. I didn't uh, agree to this, Captain. No, no, shit. It's all right. Jordy coded We're up a, a deal version here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jordy's coded up version. Jordy's coded up a deal. A version of you. Don't worry, Deanna. It does feel really like often they are getting something that's slightly like that's the Star Trek have to give them some shield schematics or some weapon, you know, or yeah. some sort of bomb or it's like or some like a, a a jar of some glowing stuff, you know, that's yeah. out of the warp core. It's always something, yeah. There's always something like fucking weird. Replacement warp trading. crystals. Dilithium I wonder if that's because they realize that so many plot points need money. Yeah, right? no, it's, yeah. Essential, it's essential. I mean, it, because we're they, so they familiar can never with borrow that in our there's, society. There's no trade deficit, right? They can't ever. Don't they have just credits, though? Don't they have Federation credits? I, I, no, because there's no money, is there? There is no, some it's like money. A utopian situation. I don't think there's any money in you the Federation. You think Picard gets like a payslip and just leaves it on his desk? That could be a good episode, actually. <laughs> Riker comes in. What's this? <laughs> Three million Federation credits. I need a pay rise. <laughs> just like it's bad. Apparently, they have energy credits. They have energy credits. Uh, energy uh, credits, right? Yeah, okay. but uh, I don't know. You never, you never hear the Federation talk Man. about money. God, the Star Trek was so ahead of its time and could see I think into the future. We're sending out some of those for helping with paying for the heating, aren't we? Energy, Energy credits. credits, yeah, yeah, crap, um, fucking out, fucking out. 
Um, the Apprentice uh, has started and is oh, in full swing. All you'd be no. pleased to know on the topic of uh, TV and TV shows, our favorite how many, topic. Uh, how many episodes does it run for? Uh, too many. Um, yeah. And uh, there's only been one. And uh, already it's a gigantic uh, shit show, as you can imagine. Oh, I don't doubt it. Um, I do not doubt it. Yeah. And a, a, a good TV show, if people want to watch that, Happy Valley has started its third series after a seven-year hiatus. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I heard it was really good. I watched I It watched does not old, look like um, a Happy Valley from the... Uh, uh, the ads it's that so I've good. seen. It no, looks it's not. really grim. Like the title, happy. the title, some might describe as as semi ironic. <laughs> it doesn't seem but like it, a it is happy really at all. fucking good. It's the, you got to oh, watch before, it from the start if you have never seen it. Before we go too off topic, did you guys notice the Among Us bit in Glass Onion? I didn't um, see yeah, it. I have not I think, seen Glass Onion. I think Onion. so. He's Was playing it? it in the bath or something with yeah, like Judy yeah. Dench and other people. Did you find it like cringe or? I just thought. This has just been dropped in because it's like, haha, won't that be funny? Right. Like right. it was. It's... Was it funny? No. Oh. <laughs> Not even one little chuckle? No. Not even That's a, a little... grimace? No, there was it's nothing like funny nod. in the entire thing. It was like. Oh, okay. It's, it's just, just dreadful. I laughed at it, though. I just. So... Um... I didn't I, finish it. I got three quarters of the way through and then we went to bed and Mrs. F finished it the next day. She said, don't bother his dog shit. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, the last quarter of it, you don't need to watch for sure. What it's is it? A, is it a, is it a, a series or a no, movie? It's just, just a, a, a movie. Just a, it's like the, the new, um, Knives Out. Like, have you seen Knives Out? It's good. No, Knives I haven't seen that. No. Knives Out is it's also on Netflix. Shit. You Dog should watch it. I have all You'll these like subscriptions it. to these things and I find I watch less and less now. I don't I really... Know, uh, really? I and then so what I do watch is just watch. garbage. Yeah, I just watch, well, I watch The tons Apprentice of stuff. or fucking Married at First Sight Well, what something. you could do is Samsung have made a new oven... Right. right. That, that lets you live stream a feed of what you're cooking. So Are you, you can watch fucking people, serious? Holy you can watch shit. people fucking live streaming... Is it a which is hilarious because casseroles. nobody fucking cooks anymore. They just order fucking uh, garbage from uh, Deliveroo well, or whatever it is not, now, right? No, Most people it, just order all their food in now. Did you not read the thing about uh, they found out that gas ovens are actually super bad for you? Like for uh, a lot of... Uh, right. They've done this scientific gas? study. This is a big thing in the States. Having a gas oven is yeah. like having secondhand smoke. Oh, um, right. So, and also, once you when you turn it off, it's still putting out some some chemicals and Holy they've done crap. this they've done this research i don't know if, I, I don't know if it's uh 100 percent confirmed yet but it's a if you look it up there's a big thing in the states where apparently they're trying to take our ovens away is is what the yeah. gas <laughs> are saying gas um, from my yeah cold, you'll fucking pry my gas oven from my dead hands from my cold so, dead leftovers that's uh, what you I've can got to, uh, i had a i had a uh, a gas oven and a gas boiler in uh in a flat i used to live in do you think i'm under do you think maybe uh, i'm unhealthy now as a result we lived there for about five years I, no i don't i don't believe so i mean i, I as i understand it it does put out pollutants i mean you're burning right. a natural gas and it's just in the room with you right i mean there's that it's unbelievable i think that there might be some some health cost to that because it's uh. it's not like i mean you are burning gas there's going to be byproducts of that yeah. um and so apparently they've done this study in australia and america and and uh and found that a lot of one fifth of all childhood uh, asthma cases are could be traced to uh, people having gas ovens. Now, yes. they raised it as a health concern, and they right. said that in new properties, new build properties, we're going to say, maybe don't put gas ovens in. Uh, we're not going to come and take your gas oven away. Um, but apparently this is a big thing. And as someone pointed out, thank goodness that asbestos was discovered to be bad before it became like a political yeah. issue. Because <laughs> um, you never know, people might sort of, uh, you're not going to take my asbestos. Like, I think it's a similar kind of thing where they discovered, hey, actually, this isn't necessarily I read a, good I read for a you. statement from the World uh, Health Organization on this topic uh, recently as well. And now they're now saying that there is no healthy amount of alcohol that you could ever have. It's just well, I mean, actually exactly. bad for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, that ain't going to fucking stop me. Well, well that's no. the same with and, a lot of things. A lot of There's other no healthy well, amount but... of red meat. There's no the healthy amount of The big justification yeah. used to be that. Out, there's no I healthy amount it. of tobacco. Yeah, there's no healthy amount of lots of things like I regular things. There's no healthy amount of no, no. But there was all, it's all, it's a spin a staple justification for people who drink, right? That 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 
you know, if you if you drink moderately once or twice a week or whatever, it's fine. It's it, there's no uh, uh, health just impact. Say that. And, and and then sometimes they even turn around and say, actually, there's some health benefits to doing it. But now they're saying no. You should not. have a glass it's of just, red wine. It is just once straight up. Every <laughs> it's just straight up bad it's for you. It's the antioxidants yeah. I enjoy in this red wine. Really, yeah. Yeah. I like getting fucked up. It's when I lose all inhibitions and uh, <laughs> wake up in a pile of my own excrement. That's uh, <laughs> why I do it. I mean, he he, I, I'm a little sensitive about the vegetarian thing today why because we had the food shop come on tuesday right and mrs f does the food shop when she's watching progress bars for work right which is a thing she has to do sometimes she sets a bunch of things going she's yeah. just waiting for things to complete and while she's yeah. doing that sometimes she got some downtime she you think it's ever stressful shop. like in mission impossible when tom cruise is waiting for oh, the download me. to happen yeah, and yeah. somebody's just about to enter the room yeah yeah sometimes Holy she crap. really does get stressed she's like watching it like please don't fail like if some oh, process fails and then if it does she's like right i've got to go into the fucking office and blah 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 so it can be it can be stressful but does she have a keyboard that has those really really satisfying uh clacking sounds well, like, like a they mechanical do keyboard yeah, but yeah, I don't she, know she how they mechanical. do it. The Hollywood keyboards always sound way better than any of the keyboards they, I've ever had. They use really old, shitty keyboards that make that With noise. That really nice clacking noise. And I noise. think they just add on a clickety clacky noise because that way yeah. people understand that they're typing. And then they also use that sound uh, for, for when something's downloading, where right. it sounds like you're the, <laughs> the gears of your hard drive. <laughs> <Right>. um, <laughs> like a dot know, like matrix old, printer is going. The old hard drives, they yeah. used to make that, that the sound. The old C6400. Like that. Yeah. All that. Those, yeah. those ones, yeah. Yeah. So she does the online food shop. Great. Very, very happy that she does that. Thank you very much. And she sometimes orders things on there that are sort right. of like, oh, I just thought I'd give it a try. A vegetable lasagna. Okay. Right. Now, sure. it was fucking vegetables. <laughs> it was it was vegetables and lentils in a lasagna. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Fucking appalling. It was one of the worst wow. things. Me and the kids were like, this is revolting. And as soon as it arrived, <laughs> as soon as it arrived in the in the food shop, I saw it and I was like, "This must have been a substitution." And I said to her, "I think they've substituted our lasagna with fucking vegetable lasagna." She goes, "Oh no, it got good reviews on the website." Well, so no, I you were primed to dislike it. You were primed for it then. Okay, oh, no. you it, weren't objective. It had vegetables on the top of the lasagna, oh, right? That's weird. Which looked dog shit. Yeah. And then it's all the way through as lentils and vegetables. We cooked it. I tried eating it. It's fucking awful. Awful. Right. So when you were having a go at red meat right then. No, but no, but you're pri is, you were primed. That turned up and you were like, this looks disgusting. Yeah, you, you were already biased. You, were, you like were biased. heavily biased. Yes, that's the problem with you. If you think it's gonna lasagna. be disgusting, you will find it disgusting. I don't think that's true. If I'd served I've tried you that in like a fucking things. fancy Heston Blumenthal restaurant, you would be like, mm, delectable. No, did, <laughs> does, it, does it does it taste like this one? <laughs> <laughs> does it taste like this one? Because if it does, I would have said, "Excuse me, I want to change my order." Because uh, Hester awful. would come out and be like, Hester "What do you mean? What's, what's your problem with <laughs> no, no fucking lasagna?" You eat, <laughs> it would have been uh, so bad. Yeah. Well, whatever. You guys didn't eat it. You're fucking running your love e meter over the lasagna and like, "Oh, this is fucking got some." Listen, shit everyone in it. out there, listen to this. It's not a vegetarian. This is what it's like. Okay. You know what this I had what for dinner like. uh, the other night? Flax. Some I had uh, terrible, I had I will rice, agree with you. <laughs> just plain rice <laughs> <laughs> with carrots and peas from a tin. <laughs> that was wow, my dinner. Yeah. Oh, were, you, were you eating alone or something? <laughs> no, this is what my whole family. Your ate. whole family. We just had to chuck something together real quick. You know, like sometimes, uh, sometimes you got you just gotta make do. Yeah, it's not an have. event eating in my house. Nobody really wants no, to eat I, I in was the first gonna place. Say, most we don't people make much of an effort, you know? We just vegetarians or vegans don't really enjoy food, and it fucking shows. Yeah. For you, it's like just sitting at a petrol station. <laughs> You're like bored, just get it done. I don't want to do it, yeah. It just gets in the way of uh, all the other things I actually want to do. You well, know? Yeah. well, but in the evening, you don't stream. You no. fucking watch The Apprentice. You've got so much time on your hands. You're fumbling around the, for shit uh, to watch. No, I watch The Apprentice, and then uh, when my wife goes to bed, I come out and I do some uh, some private gaming. You know, oh. just uh, on top of the fucking twelve hours of gaming I've already done. Is that, that the, day. Uh, the private get gaming with uh, Mrs. Palm and her five lovely daughters? Or uh, no, it's the uh, I don't know if you know about uh, this about Steam, but you can have a private games library that's not uh, <laughs> not visible to anyone. <laughs> oh, I'd love to Whoa. see what's in there. Uh, yeah. All those uh, fucking hentai school games and all yeah, that that's shit. that's right, yeah. Well, I got a VR headset, so I, I figure I gotta <laughs> make the most of it, you know? Have you oh thought about trying uh, some VTubing? Like, get an avatar for yourself, have a Sips VTube. 
No, I never have. I should hey, probably. You should I'm, give it a I'm go, dude. I think it'd be funny. Fairly unattractive. I about Maybe it's like... a VTuber this week who is AI controlled. Right. Um, and as a result, constantly spouts well, not constantly, but racism. You know, it it is certainly says things like, "Oh, I'm." Not sure I believe in the Holocaust and stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. God. Of course it would. Of course it would say have I to. Yeah. Chilled, right? yeah. So, but the, yeah, the, these VTubers are everywhere. You should try it, Sips. You, you, I think it would be funny. It. My friend uh, Sir Action Slacks did it with Windrunner as right. his VTuber avatar, and it was it was really funny. Right. Um, does he do it like? He, uh, does he do it regularly, or just he just? No, did I think like he just did it for a while. Just did. It. He I did thought it for he was a more. I thought he was more. I thought he was more of a techies guy. I didn't. Like, or, or did he just think, pick Windrunner because it was no, funny for the VTuber? I think his side. community picked it. I think oh. they they picked his avatar, and of course they know he hates Windrunner. So much like the Crystal Maiden because he's a big uh, techies enjoyer. Last I he was. Last I checked, right? He was, but then they changed. He's, a, techies. he's a more of. A, I see him playing Omni Knight pretty much every day. He plays, he plays Omni, Omni plays, Knight. Yeah, he plays Omni Knight. Plays Necro. Um, I don't think he. I don't think he has even played new techies. I think he. I, I think can't he might play have tried Necro. Every time I play Necro, it just fall. I if I play against Necro, holy shit! Like I, I feel like I'm playing against Arteezy playing Necromancer. <laughs> when I play Necro, oh my god! It's just like I cannot do the things that people do uh, to me when when they're playing Necro. Like, I, I, just I don't want I can't figure that hero out at all. Yeah, it's, it, he, um, I don't want to get into Dota chat because that's No, not we won't. Doing. I also haven't played Dota um, since before Christmas. What? Yeah, you were playing it the other night. I saw you playing no, it the other night. I was doing no, the in-house. Oh, oh you were doing the in-house. But, um, Sorry. Yeah. I, I've just been you're playing gonna, You're going to lose touch, dude. You know, the new meta. I'm waiting for the new patch, dude. Bloodstone, I've been waiting Razor. for fucking months. Is there a new hero coming out? Yeah. The new patch? Muerta. Muerta. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about that. I mean, it, it's been Cinco de Mayo, hombre. <laughs> <laughs> is it like something to do with the? It's... Maybe that's when the patch will it's, come it's out. Day of the Dead, I think. It's yeah. Like oh yeah, it's dead. good thinking. I think it's like March or April. They said, didn't they? It's the start of 2023. The the problem is, it's been Gracias, the same game now for a long amigo. time. It, it's just it's just so stale. That yeah. I, I just well, needed a break. I mean, it, it it always runs the risk. It's an old game, right? They got to keep it fresh. You got to try to keep it. Yeah, do you not remember? Pass is done. I have no incentive to to play it. Do you I not remember say. when they said we're going to be doing a patch every week or two weeks? Yeah, that lasted like a month, well, and then they just I mean, sacked it off. Every game goes through that, though, right? Uh, yeah, they but that, this was back. like last year or the it's year the before. New year, that's, they that's get that's back. Everybody with their best intentions. Yeah, they've got plans and they can't. They realize yeah. it's way too much. And you know, Valve are like, you know, all right, fine, we'll do it. Once I've been a month. I've right, been playing a lot a of WoW recently, and for the first time in eighteen years of World of Warcraft, they actually have a roadmap uh, for for this year, which Whoa. is is weird. exciting and interesting. But uh, the the likelihood of them actually um you know putting out any of the do stuff you, that they're promising on time is is so do you think they're doing this slim. to try and win back some uh some good pr because they've not been in a they good have place to, yeah it's uh, it, the expansion it itself is good and i've been playing it a lot but uh i have noticed that the the previous two expansions which were bad have taken their toll for sure because long mm. long standing people who would normally play a lot of wow that i have like on my friends list or whatever just have not come back they're just gone just I do see it, it is still quite high up the list on Twitch in terms of like people watching it. So fair, yeah, it's it's and I assume it, it sells a bunch. It still has a, a fairly big community, but uh, they they don't release um a, a lot of the 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 um retention figures now. They stopped releasing them after I think Wrath of the Lich King because people were getting really hung up on you know the subscriber amounts and stuff like that. Mm. But um, people are speculating that this expansion, although it is it is good, it's the best one they've had in a while, um, player numbers are really low for mm. the game. But I think people just switched off. I think they they just lost a lot of good it's an will, old, you know? It's an old it's an old game. And also, Final Fantasy is really good. So yes, yeah, that's true. People too, yeah. haven't left that to come back to WoW. People left WoW to go to Final Fantasy, but they for the longest time, WoW just didn't have any competition, right? But now Final Fantasy is legitimately. Uh, it's really a very good. I mean, can, I, can I know when, uh, well, yeah. at Jingle Jam, I, several people that were there, I think Mousy and a couple of other people were yeah. obviously playing so much of it. Mousy, Rithian that, plays yeah, it a lot. I think pretty Kirstie much everything they lot. were saying yeah. was coming back to Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy! I was like, wow, you guys have yeah. played this game a lot. Yeah. A hell of a lot. Yeah. 
it's good. I have played it as well. I liked uh, Final Fantasy. It's pretty good. But um, uh, I don't know. It's 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 weird, right? It's like uh, it's what you're used to is comfort and all that kind of stuff too. I just go so far back with WoW that if I'm gonna play an MMO, I'd I'd like to play WoW, and I'm glad that it's fun again. It's mm-hmm. nice to enjoy it again. Um, I prefer it to Final Fantasy for sure. But um, but but WoW has these dips where it just sucks and nobody wants to play mm-hmm. it. So yep, uh, I, I think that that's that. But that's the thing, like about i don't i play dota i i drop in and out of dota now and i i like that i think we people there's so much choice there's so many games yeah and yeah. you shouldn't be shouldn't be forced to do something you're not enjoying just stop yeah. stop doing something you're not enjoying and yeah don't exactly try and rationalize get, get your that. private library like, on steam and like i don't think VR you should headset. be sad about it or, or anything i think jacking fuck off them, you know? all the damn time if you're man. paying 15 quid a month for a fucking game like world of warcraft you, you want to get that a like, whole game's worth of entertainment out of it and you're not getting that for nine or ten or twelve months of the year yeah right you get no, it in that first month, but that's it. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I just don't feel like the value is there, you know? And obviously, WoW aren't going to be free to play like all the other, well, not no. all the other no. other game, MMOs, but a lot of games out there. Yeah. Do you think anyway. that um, one of the reasons it's been able to live as long as it is is because of the subscription thing? Because I do wonder the well, long term... But- uh, also, Blizzard had such a, an incredible reputation before um, the, the the past two or three years, right? Right, For, but but even even putting that aside, they had the, they had uh, they had fanatical fans, right, in the community that a lot have left now. If you don't if you don't have a subscription system, you have to continually make money off the new content, right? Well, yeah. but no but those other... games are massively profitable. Yeah, they like make Dota a and League, these games make money, an absolute yeah. shit ton of money. So, but wow, so wow's wow's model is that you have to buy the box expansion wow has that plus and pay the yeah. in-game shop. Yeah, so wow has both the cosmetics and the crap. And right, wow makes vast, vast amounts of money. Right, but the I'm problem not, I'm is, is that ninety-nine percent but... of that goes into the pockets of the CEOs and the shareholders. Right, like like a, a fraction, I'd say one percent of the money wow has made has been put in back into the game to make new bits of the game wow is vastly vastly profitable i think a lot of other mmos are yes they exactly have that problem that they aren't bringing in enough money to to f- keep them going or, or even pay for the servers and that's why they get shut down i mean i'm, ju- I'm just saying look, if we down. look at tarkov for example now i bought tarkov or i, I, I was given a copy of Tarkov, the press copy but let's say i bought it the, yeah the full version yeah whatever six it's like years hundred bucks or whatever, or whatever right so for i the... bought that that's that's the only money they've ever got out of me so when it comes to developing the game and all the rest of it, essentially you reach a point where you've got a player base that is no longer putting any money into the game. Yeah. Having them continue to play is actually just draining money okay, from but your coffers. The interesting thing uh, with Tarkov is that um, a, a game like Tarkov is a very attractive for people who cheat, right? And people who cheat spend money in the game because they have to buy new copies of the game when they when they get banned for cheating right so that so there is money being made extra money being made off the back of people cheating in Tarkov, yeah but right? i don't think enough people but that's cheating. like one of their only revenue streams now. yeah it's kind of it's kind of weird that's why i'm just saying like if you because World i can't Warcraft, imagine that the, the the new player intake for tarkov is huge right now because no, it is I mean, a, a brutal I, game I, it is but i mean I, I i'm sure there are people i know that whenever i stream it there are people saying just got this it's really hard sure yeah can you give me some tips and and there are definitely new players coming in there are but, but they're not not enough to to make them the yeah. money that they'd be looking for i don't like think. it's got that long wrong, tail but- yeah. So it had that big, I don't think it even had a big surge when it first came out. I think it kind of was ticking along with a very few number of players, relatively speaking. I think then twi- they came Twitch to drops a point, have helped them a lot. Maybe, too. yeah. I mean, I know that Pestily had like, uh, what was it 300,000 viewers or something the other yeah, day? Like insane, a lot of people. Yeah. So you had a huge spike when the game really suddenly was in a good state and was being streamed a lot and some big guys started streaming it and then it had a huge burst. Then it's got that long tail. If you think about WoW, it's been having money coming in for a long time and even yeah. the, the the player base is always contributing money and then with the expansion packs and stuff like that that come out yeah how much freedom does that give you as a developer to say we don't have to just it depends on up. your philosophy right if your philosophy is we get that money up front we pay ourselves we buy our yachts and our houses and our fucking you know luxury villas in the algarve right and then next year oh shit 
we didn't do a subscription payment. I guess we'll have to shut the game down, guys. Sorry. No, or no. Some they're, people, but you're, they're locked in. Some people they... are like the opposite of that, where they're like, okay, our game has made this much money. We're going to continue this model, this payment model, and we're going to continue supporting yeah, the course. game into the future based on how much we've gotten in, right? Like some, it's, if your philosophy is fucked up, then it's going to be fucked up that's all it is you know some people are greedy and other people's other people aren't tarkov has made huge amounts of money it's sold literally millions of copies right that means it's taken in hundreds of millions of dollars and maybe it's cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make but again that depends on how much you're spending on your you know epic silicon tropolis fancy office and how many wanky staff you've got you know making stuff like i think anyone can spunk all their money away or give it to themselves you know it, it takes it takes different people with different attitudes to do things differently i think each games company is different and i think 99 percent of them are struggling and the one percent like tarkov have far too much money and don't know what to do with it uh, yeah well tarkov, I've, I've, is incredibly tarkov, successful tarkov apparently is uh is is still worked on but barely because i think a lot of the work that they're doing on tarkov they're using it for uh, some new game that they're making which is apparently arena no it's not even it's nothing to do with tarkov it's it's like some new game that they're working on that apparently is their big passion and tarkov is, oh, is a so pain they, in the they've ass wanted to do they they've wanted to do work um, on it. like a daisy essentially so that what they they their vision for a long time has been that the whole world is joined up so you don't yeah. go into a raid in one point and leave at that point. You go in at one point and you make your way through yeah. all these different areas, eating and regening and health and yeah, all the yeah, rest yeah, of yeah. it as you go. That that's been a thing that they've wanted to do. And I think that they've people have said, please don't do that. It would kind of ruin Tarkov, and it would. But I, I believe that they've always wanted to make that other game. Yes. But well, here's the, the thing: Arena Tarkov is, is like meant a, to be all joined up at some. We point. say yeah, this. Yeah. We say this again and again. But when you release a game to the people that isn't your game anymore, and people like that experience and don't want it to change, and want to come back to it in ten years' time, which is why WoW have had to do WoW Classic, another and RuneScape Classic, and these these ideas where it's like, oh, we you can't play the game that you yeah. played when you were a kid. It's and, evolved right, because. Yeah. Because it's not, it doesn't exist. It's not uh, allowed. You're not allowed to play it. But people want to. And so they're like, well, let's give people that. It's, it's a hot positive thing, right? And so, so you know, Tarkov as well. The, the secret, of course, is to just give people more options, give people more game modes, evolve mm -hmm. your game, keep the original one going in some, some, some low, low key form. And, I want and make them, something I new. want Tarkov to have a game mode where it's like, uh, like a zero to hero mode. You queue in with a pistol everybody queues in with a pistol what in tarkov if you have yeah and then if you if you leave a raid with like a ton of gear it's because you've gone from having a pistol and worked your way through the map and gotten some good stuff and killed other people and taken their stuff whatever you know what i mean like yeah. I, i'd much rather play that than tarkov as it is now because like it's fun like when when a wipe happens for like a week and then it's just you're just playing against robocop every time right with this <laughs> he's got he's got the best loadout it's it, the the whole game is solved within a week because people just know life it and have no life that since it was released or whatever. And it's just not it's it's just not a fun game like uh so soon after a wipe, you know what I mean? It, it would be better if there was like a the matchmaking was evened out a little bit more by giving people next to nothing to go in with and then the the idea yeah, what is you're that suggesting you, is I, I that think that would change the game in. completely what you're suggesting but... is that they design a, a game rather than basically some sort of no no they could just have like a sucking engine of, of of unhealthiness like wow though like all of these games modes used to be where you div the more time you put in the more success you'll have in the game and so therefore it encourages people to to know life, to be successful, to have, yeah. to play that game, yeah. Which, which, which is, I think, what you get is with these companies, they have their metrics, right, and they have their staff, and they're like, okay, t this team here, these are making the lowest money. They're still making half, you know, here's a storm. It's still making half a million pounds a year for for us, but uh, that's the lowest out of all of our properties, so we're going to shut that one down, right? Yeah. Squeakiest wheel gets the grease, or or you know, the worst the worst people, the worst performing thing in your group or your or your awareness gets your criticism, right? Yeah. And so I think like oftentimes there's that, but there's also the analytics idea of, oh, our numbers have gone up. We must be doing the right thing. <laughs> yeah. They don't realize the psychological impact they're having on their player base. You know, they have these game developers and games companies are run by people who see money and they see they they are not aware 
often they don't play their own games. Um, you know, these people who make mobile games and have, attract the whales to spend thousands of pounds, they're not thinking about those people. They don't care about those people. They're dimly aware of those people. Yeah. And, and, th- and th- th- they, they, they lean into that. They're like, oh, this is making more money. I will do this, more of this. And that's the evolution of mobile games. That's the evolution of games generally. And we have to avoid being caught in that dragnet of psychologically scarring games <laughs> yeah right we don't <laughs> it's it's not they're not doing it on purpose they're doing it because they don't see or care or know the impact that their games are having on their players well i would they're like you to know that money. i've been psychologically traumatized by a played up uh a game that you <laughs> your company published <laughs> Uh, I got really <laughs> obsessed with it and played it all the damn time and only just recently have kicked the habit somewhat, but I still yearn to play it again. So Well, there's um, a new update coming. Chinese oh, New Year. Nice. So, um, nice, nice, you know, nice. I, 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 I've been playing Tarkov for over two weeks now and I've been having a ton of fun and I don't I think they have done a lot to address what you were complaining about. Uh, uh, maybe. Chris, with the, the early wipe. Like, for example, a lot of the ammo that you would be running into earlier on with the really good ammo, you just can't buy it on the flea market anymore and yeah. it's all very hard to get and you have to find it in raid and blah 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 so it is it is harder and i have noticed that the earlier stage is dragged out we've mm. been running five man stacks in the evening and it's been a ton of fun sometimes well, i mean one that... lad kills all five of us sure but that is itself I mean, quite that, funny that'll happen for sure but uh I, yeah i don't know it's try it's, new things it's, it's... play story things try different things like just experience what's out there there's so much stuff there's so many different worlds yeah to explore. like yeah. people love doing the D D's, and people love doing it like that's something i really want to do this year is run a D D campaign yeah, i've bought I've ordered a load of that. interesting books that i want to set if, I, if you do that yeah can i be involved yeah, I'd love to. I'd you love don't to want me you. to be involved. Well, I can no, tell I, from your yeah. I well, I'm gonna. I'm I'm more. I'm more scared about DMing being a bad DM because I'm. I'm usually. I've tried DMing before and I've. I've. I've been bad. Look, <laughs> I, I, but it's practice. But it's I'm gonna change. I've. I've got a few. Yeah, I haven't I've played D and D in ages. Stuff. I haven't played D and D in ages. So. Uh, I, well, it I won't mean, be D and I'm not a fan of D and D, but it'll be. It'll be. It'll be role playing as it, he's systems. gonna make his own <laughs> he's gonna make his own he's making well, no, it'll up his be own like pathfinder or like um it'll be it'll be there's like 20 there's like a thousand other better systems than D. Yeah. The, the, the current edition D looks like a really nice pared down or pared back oh, that's system. what they're trying to sell you but it's made by fucking it's shit it's the lie hasbro and the multi-billion dollar company are ruining D. Um, that systems it's always the man is, is the not man's always system. fucking it's a bloated everybody. mess How of is crap it with an incredibly the, sluggish the rules combat is like 10 pages it's deity's just it's not it you, is you I've have got to the buy like a 50 right quid here. fucking player's guide for it it's it's all a scam so D is not find the best system it, it looks like a really nice i've been i've been going through system. a lot of it and i'm really really unimpressed with with current D D and their wow. attitude towards it they want their game to be the only D D, and they mark it like you see it in stranger things and all this well i mean you, know, you can't blame thing. them though if and it, it's not you would do the same thing though that's the thing you're criticizing them but you would do if you had to market something and and you were making your own D D. watch you're going to make your own D and you're just going to become the new hasbro right you won't even <laughs> I'm realize gonna it's my happening own fucking D&D. i'm going to use one of the thousand really cool indie tabletop gaming things made by fans who are sick of the crappy D D that they used to have i would to love to know what's crappy about it if if the, if people listen to this and and uh and there's a thread on the subreddit i'd love g- give me an explanation of why D D is bad now because i i played second edition i played uh th- third edition i played 3.5 i didn't play four and i haven't played five yet but i've read the book and I'm it looks gonna, good i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you my main problem with it is there's not enough sexy cats in it that, that there, uh, you can have sexy cats in it there's dude. not enough there's never okay. enough for me i need tons right but then well, you need the right dm okay but i'd like to set D in universes like Judge Dredd, June, The Expanse, That's D20. Jurassic Can't you Park. just do that with D20? Yeah, D20 I can do Call of Cthulhu. That. I can do... No, but there's books. There's tabletop settings that are already made. I don't made. think Flax got... wants to play Cthulhu after his I don't last have to fuck it. I'm not going to do it. the work myself, but what, I'll customize it on GURPS. I'm just saying that like, there's, there's all these much better systems that do a fantasy generic fucking fantasy universe where you could be a fucking dragon kin or a dark elf. Who fucking... I don't want to be all that. I mean... Well, I want to be a lad. I want to be a lad. Well, 
Well, yeah. you don't want D&D then. You want any of these other cool RPGs. I want like, to be a doctor, but not necessarily a doctor, you know? Like, I want to be like... Uh, Pathfinder's better. Like Dr. Dre. A, a dentist. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like Dr. Dre. A producer. Yeah. Uh, a self-appointed doctor. Yes. You could do that. That's but then the I want point. people to refer to me as doc or doctor, you know? You could do that. I mean, that's the thing. There's no rule saying that you have to have all these ridiculous classes and characters. You can do a low magic setting in D&D if you wanted and just say, no, you but all you have can, to be what, humans. No, or, but yeah. I think D&D is synonymous with the Dungeons and Dragons, the Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro, marketing setup, current massive mega shit. And it's, and, and it's, and it's not... These days, it's not considered by people who are actually into tabletop gaming as a very good place to run D and D from. I can play. I'm gonna. I, I, I know we're calling it D and D, but I'm not using any. I'm not gonna use any D and D stuff. It'll be pen, pen and paper. It'll be. It'll be. Call it pen and yeah, paper. Yeah, it'll be a fun adventure. Adventure on pen and paper. Role play session. And if that Dungeons puts you and off, Dragons. which I understand it would, because people want to play D and D, but. And what I'm saying is the systems to play D&D are better without D&D. Wow. Right. All right. Comments below. I want to know more. A, a bold statement to uh, end this uh, riveting podcast as usual. I just want to thank both of you. Um, I love sure. talking about- what are you thanking us for? I don't know. <laughs> just, just thanks. Thank, <laughs> you just were a part for, of this thing. Just thanks for being there. But you're a part of this world. <laughs> just thanks for being there. <laughs> Just thanks for being there when we need you. Sorry to end it on a rant about D&D. &D. No, uh, Tom, Tom H. Do you know what? Tom H edits this podcast. He'll know more than me. We started off with fucking talking about a radiator being wonky on one side. I mean, yeah, yeah we, we, we veered around. We can't just <laughs> talk true. about radiators for an hour and 10 minutes. It's true. It's we got to talk about well, we could. other shit. Maybe next week. That's what no, we'll do. No, please, no. no hopefully my, right. my radiators will be fixed. My kids are getting new beds next All week right. that have like That's storage built into them and everything. Nice. I can tell you about nice. that shit next week. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. All right. Bye. We're going. Bye. Bye. Bye.